Oh, hi! This week, we're going to decorate these cute little pots that I got for these cute little air plants. I don't understand how these survive. I've had these for like two weeks and I haven't killed them. I do, I, science is confusing. Get right into it, shall we? Here's what you need. Just kidding. I'm making a spritzer. If that's even what you call this shit. All I did was mix sangria with flavored seltzer water. I couldn't even be bothered with like a fruit slice or some shit. The main thing you're gonna need are some air plants. I have two kinds. Literally came up with this idea because I was at a garden center and was like, hey, this guy here looks like the top of executor. Executor? Don't know how you pronounce it. I haven't listened to the poker rap since fifth grade. Forgive me. And then once I was on the Pokemon brain train, I saw this guy and was like, oh, that kind of looks like the top to Oddish. So let's party down on some Pokemon planters, huh? I got the world's tiniest pots, literally 35 cents each. And we don't have sales tax in New Hampshire, so it was actually only 35 cents. And then as extra bonus, AKA I don't want any water getting all over my desk, I got these little trays that were like 79 cents a piece. What I'm telling you is very cheap project, especially if you already have the plants because those were the most expensive part. And then you're just gonna need a bunch of different paints. It's all beautiful. You can't tell what the old dried paint is compared to the new paint. That's how I like to roll. And like a paintbrush. I'm gonna do the base coats with this spongy one and then use smaller brushes for the details. Do Oddish first. If you don't know, this is what that Pokemon looks like. Just kind of like a blueberry blue color and little eyes in a mouth. I mixed tropical island blue with a darker blue. I'm just gonna stir that together and then just start layering paint on here. And I'm using acrylic paint. As long as you're not using like a watercolor, you're probably gonna be fine. While I let the Oddish base coat dry, I grab my other pot and get some canary yellow paint going. I really don't think it matters what shade. To work with whatever you got. This is the other motherfucker we're painting. And I've already put too much yellow on here, but I'm just gonna say that it's a yellow base coat for the brown and leave it at that. You mess stuff up, just pretend you meant to do it. Okay, in retrospect, I should have done this one second because it's one color all over, whereas this one, the main colors is two different colors. So I had to wait for this to dry longer than the other one. It was fine because I watched a Griffin McElroy vine compilation, so things could be worse. Sangria is real strong. Do I? I don't even have all the lights on, you guys. <laughs> What's happening to me? Spongy brush, where'd you go? Excuse me one second. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the brown down here like I should have done before. Oh, I'm actually super into this having a yellow base and putting this over it. This is perfect. Yeah, this looks super cute, right? We're getting into drowsy territory. Hey, guess who fell asleep before they finished this project? It me! It's been a while since that's happened. Well, the paint is dry, so now I'm gonna paint the little detail faces and shit. If you haven't already figured out by any of my other videos involving painting, I am fucking awful at painting. <laughs> Which is actually like pretty disappointing because my mom and sister are so fucking good at that type of art medium. Oddish's eyes are kind of oval shaped. What's a cute pupillary distance? Tiny eyes! Ooh, still got that morning voice. I'm gonna mix a couple pinks together for the mouth. It's kind of purple in there, huh? Maybe it's good I didn't finish this last night. Thankfully I have like a lavender purple. Excuse me, petunia purple. Mixing some dark blue in with that purple. Probably should have waited to let this dry before I added more color to it. Okay, we got a tiny mouth. I'm actually gonna add one more coat to this because this looks like absolute garbage. You know when it all gunks up at the top and there's just like a giant clot? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for describing it that way. I touch this up and then clean up my own situation and then we'll rendezvous back and do the last couple steps. Okay, yeah, so by clean myself up, I meant just put the same clothes on I had last night and brush my hair. I forgot I wanted to shave this and color this this morning, and that's going to take much too long. And because it's hot as balls out, all the paint dried in no time. So initially, I was going to draw little black outlines around all of this, but this looks acceptable right now. And it can only get worse by me trying to do finer detail painting. So for executor, I'm just divvying the top up into three sections and then I'm drawing two rounded lines like this. So like one third of the top of this will be dedicated to each of its faces. Does that make any sense? Oh no guys, this is so bad. Here's face number one. Oh no. Oh you poor guy. <laughs> I'm so exceptionally bad at making art that I truly do not understand how any of you stick around. But I'm real thankful for you. What is happening? Oh god, it got so much worse. It looks like he has a little curly mustache. Oh, we're just gonna keep it on this face. This is the most acceptable. Oh, look at him. I mean, 
that's the end of the project. <laughs> this guy came out pretty cute. It'll turn into a thing of nightmares if I fuck with the black paint. This face creeps me out a little bit, and this one just makes me sad. But this one's okay, I think. If you'd like to see my very impressive art skills every week, I post new crafting videos every Saturday. You can subscribe up here. And I got a whole slew of other weird videos to post on Wednesdays once I hit my next perk on Patreon. You can check that out up here. And I'll put a project that involves me painting here that I'm actually really proud of. Mostly proud of the montage at the end of that video.